Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the second video of our Alibaba Cloud Learning Series. In this video, I am going to share how you can secure your freshly new created Alibaba Cloud account. If you have not created your account yet, so you can follow the previous tutorial. I will drop the whole playlist link in the description so you can follow the any video anytime. So the first video I created in which I showed that how you can quickly create the account and it will give some free tri free trial services which we are going to use in our upcoming video that how you we can use the different different services to learn about Alibaba Cloud platform. So now let's start with this video. In this video I am going to create a IAM user which will have some permissions but not the root account permissions because root account is a super admin or super powerful permissions we are not going to use this for our purposes services uh, spinning up purposes or any any work purposes it's only let's say for only for billing purposes so let's start it once you log in in your account you will see the console so just click on this hamburger icon and we are going to see products and come to under monitoring and management you will see something known as resource access manager if you want you can click on this star and it will come on your left side as a shortcut bookmark so let's click on this resource access management and we are going to start with three to four different thing which we need to complete we will set up a account alias once you land to this ramp page you will able to see some information this one is the important because for iam user or for this ram users you need to have this domain to login into this account by default when you see so this is the 16 digit alibaba cloud platform account number which is assigned to my this new account we can copy say copy this and use this but to make the things easy to make the things easily memorable we can make it as a human friendly name rather than the account number i am going to add this dc on cloud then my login will be dc on cloud dot on aliyun dot com then it will ask me for the username and password for iam user keep remember by using this domain alias you are not going to use your root account credentials so you can select and this need to be unique so just after entering this click on ok it will save if there will be any clash of the name it will give you some validation error you can make a change and keep remember to copy this i am just copying and saving it in my notepad for the future use we are going to create the group and we are going to complete couple of tasks before going to login with our IAM user. So let's get started. First, I would like to go to settings and I would like to show that you can put the password rule. That is that is important because password rule, if you don't want that user will use only simple text password. This is a place you can set up that you want the mix of all these lowercase, uppercase, number, symbols and some other options are there even validity of this password and important thing is if you want to make the things more secure that you can put this as a yes that so one so one cannot use their username as their password or the you whatever the username assigned to a user will not be part of password so you can play with these options and then after that you can click on ok so i am okay that minimum eight uh, eight character and maximum 32 character i am fine with that i am going to now create my first user click on users you can see this user panel and i am going to enter chirag as a username i want my name to show as chirag n and i want to add a password i don't want a programmatic access because uh, for that it will download the key which it is not required right now we will see this in our near future video and i am going to set a custom password keep remember you need to follow the password policy according to whatever you are going to set i just follow and here it is saying that if it is required the password reset and selecting not required 
right now i'm not going to select the mfa for this my ram user so i'm just clicking and my user our user is created now let's see what we can do with this user and let's select this user we can add it to a existing group or we can create a new group or we can assign a permission to this user directly let's place something to see that i just select my user and here it is showing me what are some system policies it is out of the box some are having a very broader scope so we are going to play all these in detail here i am not going to assign the policy directly to the user but i am looking i am going to create a group and i will add my this chirag user in that group and the policy will assign at a group level so let's create our group quickly i am just clicking on group create group again a group name i want to give this as a admin group admin i am fine with that if you want to give some description it's okay and my group is also created here you can see and i am going to add a permission to my group let's play let's see what else in this group right now there is no member and we can assign permission there are multiple shortcuts so i am just clicking on permission add permission and if you want if you have some policy let's say you want only for the storage admin people or something so you can access but i am going to assign the full admin access for this group so let's select the admin policy save and it's completed and now come to the group member let's add our chirag user in this group also so it is showing only one user is here so i'm just selecting and adding my user so now my user is created user is having a username password and domain alias for login as well as the, this user is a part of a group which is having a admin access permission let's see what are left so here you can see it is showing that no ak for root account ak means access keys because we have not created any key for this root account as well as for any user because i showed while creating the user i have not give it any programmatic access yet so here you can see it is also finished and uh, we have created our group and grant permission now it is giving as a best practice to enable mfa for the ram users also as well as to assign custom policy which we will see now let's start first set up the mfa for our root user this is the first option so i am going to click on this and going to set now it will open the page where other details will be there you can see your account number and some other information so there is something option account protection so i am going to click on the edit because no mfa has been set up here i am just going to click on edit and again it will open a new page here it is asking what i want to do at what level i want to do i just want only for the login or if any changes are happening on my on my root account or if anyone try to modify email phone number or something then for that also the ot uh, this otp is required or to mfa is required so i can select that but i am okay with this and then there are two different method one is for the sms one is for the google authenticator app so i am going to se select for the google authenticator app and if you want to make it more double double secure you can select with the sms or the both but i am okay with google authenticator app i am just clicking and submitting this now it is asking me to download the app i have already downloaded in my mobile phone i am going to next and i am going to scan the code so i have scanned the code and i am going to enter those numbers and here you can see the protection has been successfully set and that code is in my now google authenticator app so whenever i am going to log in for my root user i need to enter the password as well as this google authenticator app code so now i am coming to once the app is set up here you can see it will show the status already set so now what i am going to quickly do because i don't want to set the mfa for my ram user i am going to log out from this account and going to 
going to log in with my RAM domain alias as well as the account which I created with the admin access. So let me quickly copy my link and paste and it will ask for our login here I am going to enter my RAM user and I am going to enter my super secret password here and just going to click on log on and let's wait for a couple of second and here we go here you can see we entered in our console and this user is having a full after you log in with your ram user let's see one another service which is helpful for auditing purposes to know about the how how our users are interacting with our alibaba platform because it will lodge all the api calls so that service is known as action trail again it will find under this monitor and management so it is something if you work on some other cloud cloud platform known as cloud trail activity logs so it is the same thing here known as action trail so whatever the actions happen in my console whether the programmatic cli or portal it will lodge into that so here you can see few minutes ago i log in with this my user and it is lodged and other or other activity which happened from my root user so it is it is showing here so that's about all about this video i am going to proceed to create some other resources in our upcoming video so stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and share in your circle thank you